the challenges that are going unpunished on Man City players are just as worrying to me as dropping points, bearing in mind they're going for the Champions League this year as well. Now, that's a Harry Kane challenge yep. on Sterling. That's an alley over the top leg breaker on De Bruyne. And that's another one in Gundogan from Murphy in this game tonight that should have been a red card, could have been a broken leg, and has gone unpunished. So clearly... And I might be out of turn here by saying players are starting to target some of the City players. And I think that could be a big concern for them going forward if the referees don't put a stop to this. Well, would, that, would that happen like back in your, say, Derby day? If you were going up against the Manchester City team who were on this run? No. Would there, would there be no. something within the team which you wanted to, no. to get at them? I've never played with anybody uh, in my era that went out with the mindset to, to break a leg or injure a player. It's happened. But I've never gone out and, and, and said, look, they're better than us. I'm going to smash him and I'm going to do his cruciate and all that. that, that I've, no, I've personally that, not heard that, that. That type of challenge, you know, saying that you're going to injure somebody that badly, is not said. You know, people don't go there with the mindset. Yeah. But what you often hear in the dressing rooms is get in their faces, yeah. be physical, yeah. let them know you're there. Right. Which is, is you kind of starting to feel that that's the approach for Manchester City now. They're going to keep the ball and make you look silly at times. Let them know they're in for a, in for a game But there's here. nothing wrong with that. And there's it? nothing wrong with yeah. that. But what you're seeing, and, and, and I think it's an intentional tactic, is players are going just a, a little too far, in my opinion. Because they can't get close to the ball, because you can't enjoy any possession, all of a sudden you see challenges like, like you see from, from Murphy today. And I, I, as much as I, I support you guys defend your castle, there is no, no room for that in the game, in my it, opinion. It, 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 in my day, but specifically, you just get fired straight in the but You never went over the top. That was mm. a golden rule. If you went over the top, it was an apology and because it was a, it was a mistake. But I'm telling you, Steady those on. sort it's of... It's you're talking to now. Those we, sort know of you, <laughs> we know what you... We know what you... We've seen you in action. You never went, you. You never, <laughs> I've read you out there. I know it's a long time ago. You never went out you. to do somebody in that Not manner. to do that, somebody, yeah. No. And that's, that, that's up oh. to the referees to sort that out because that is dangerous. Like, I mean, it, he's going to get banned. There's no doubt about it, that kid. I truly believe, I truly believe the referees, the FA, whoever is Responsible, will come together and, and have, a, have a discussion and so about they should. it. It needs to be because there needs to be a stronger approach from the top down to, 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 to this type of this type of tackling, this type of approach. Uh, you, I think you, look, you look at it. So I just want to move on slightly, Paul, in the sense that this has never happened before. There's never been a team that's got a 15-point lead no. after 20 matches in in the top flight in England. 85% possession of the ball in the first right. half. This is going to take away from, from the so-called entertainment factor, isn't it, from the league? No. People, are people going to want to watch this? What, absolutely. What, that's kind of dominance? What, watching this well, training well, match, this was just well, attack versus defence. Well, you know, well, where's, well, where's the fun in that? Well, more so in this case because we know Newcastle are, are, are sliding down the Premier League at a rapid mm. uh, pace of knots. And now there's a takeover potential to happen at Newcastle and Benitez is trying to push for that as, as quickly in January as he can to get funds in. So I don't think you'll see that dis quite that disparity on a re on a, as a regular ba basis with with such a gap. That being said, it is not Man City's issue or problem to to worry about what the rest of the team is. To worry about Mourinho sure. moaning. To worry about what Arsenal are doing. To worry about what Conte is bemoaning at Chelsea. Uh, we've just seen Liverpool today, and we're going to discuss uh, spending 75 million on a centre half. So there are there are other teams out there spending money. It is up to the rest to try and bridge that gap. In my opinion, it doesn't take away from the attractiveness of the Premier League at all. A, a couple of reasons. Um, well, well, one, uh, let me let me touch on this first. For maybe. Teams that look at Newcastle are very poor. Newcastle who come within touching distance of at least getting a point against City. Maybe you see teams do that. But my big complaint or, or my big concern of what we've seen in the league in the past is teams being negative or pragmatic for, for use of a better term no, negative and, and, and get results. Right. When you see teams go out and play like City do, I have absolutely no problem mm. with them winning week in, week out and the gap widening. If that's their approach, because what will happen is everybody will have to adopt that approach in, in moving their own clubs forward in trying to compete with Manchester City. You'll see everybody else trying to do more of the same. Where, again, when it was pragmatism was, was the calling of the day, you saw more and more teams go that way. And I we, thought that was wrong for Lass, me. we've got to applaud what Manchester City Absolutely. and Pep Guardiola are doing. When, when, when company goes off, most, most managers would put a centre-half on. He didn't. He put a centre-forward on.